So in this video, we're going to work through an example where we find the equation of a tangent line given some information, specifically given the output of the function at a certain point and the derivative at that point. Here we go. For this example, let's say we know some information about a specific function. Let's say the function is h, and I know that h of 10 is 7 and h prime of 10 is 1 half. So what I'm going to ask us to do is to find the equation of the tangent line at x equals 10. So I recommend that you take the chance to try this on your own so you can pause the video and give it a shot. Okay, so for writing this equation, we need to interpret the information we were given. First, I just want to note that h of 10 equals 7 corresponds to the point 10, 7. So 10 is the x, 7 is the y. Then h prime of 10 equals 1 half. This means this is the derivative at 10 or the slope of the tangent line at x equals 10. The slope of the tangent line at x equals 10 is 1 half. So really, we have a point and a slope, and so we can use point-slope form. This time, our function is h, so we have y minus h of a equals h prime of a times x minus a. So we have a is 10, so that means we'll have y minus h of 10 equals h prime of 10 times x minus 10. And we have some of this information given to us in the problem. So h of 10 is 7 and h prime of 10 is a half. And you might notice this really corresponds to the other way we used to write point slope form. So we have a y1 and an x1 and m is the slope of our line. That's our 1 half, our derivative at 10. So we've made great progress. Now we just need to rewrite our final version of the equation in slope intercept form. So we just want it to be y equals. So I'm going to distribute that 1 half into the parentheses. I'm getting 1 half x minus 5. A half of 10 is 5. Then I will just add the 7 over to the other side. So I have 1 half x minus 5 plus 7. The minus 5 and plus 7 go together to be 2, and I am left with my final version of the equation. I have y equals 1 half x plus 2, and remember this is the equation of the tangent line to the function h at x equals 10. Okay, so that's the end of this example. There will be another example in the next video that you can watch for another way that we often write equations of tangent lines. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you in the next one.